All right, man. So today we have a banger Panthers on Panthers matchup. And surprisingly, today I scored the most points that I've ever scored in a Madden 23 game. So before we get into the video, I want you guys to comment down below how many points you think I scored. Don't go and skip to the end and then come back and then try to, you know what I'm saying, guess. I want you guys to just guess right now. You know what I'm saying? Pause the video, go to comments, comment how many points you guys think I scored, and then uh, watch the video. And then I want you guys to watch and see how I was scoring. Now, once again, it's Panthers on Panthers. Um, it's a mirror match. A lot of people don't like to play mirror matches, but I love them simply because you get to see, you know what I'm saying? You got the Panthers. I got the Panthers. We have the same ability, same quarterback, same everything. Now it just depends on who's going to put the right players in the right position and who's going to put the right scheme behind it. You know what I'm saying? So I love mirror matches. I love my scheme. Um, I love all my schemes that I run, offense and defense. If you guys are interested in ebooks, so we do have ebooks available on blackrainsbend.com. Um, also, merch on there as well, sticky merch. Um, so you guys should definitely check it out, man. So if you guys do a big favor, man, hit that like button if you're new. Hit that sub button. Guess down below in the comment section and enjoy the content. Running up the score is the only thing I know. Ay, when it's black rain, then you know it's gone poor. Huh? Running up the score is the only thing I know. Huh? If I need to come back, I'm clutching a fork. And I'm getting sticky with the stick work too. Ay, it's already over if I kick first. Ooh, huh? Top 100, they can get work too. Ay, first in the world and it's got me in a mood huh? running up the score is the only thing i know Ay, when it's black rain then you know it's gone poor huh? running up the score is the only thing i know huh? if i need to come back i'm clutching a fourth all right man so check this out um i want to rock with the panthers because this is before the update so <laughs> They still got uh, Kalen Barnes, but in real life, he's traded. Uh, Marjorie Har Harper's traded as well. So the DB is going to be looking a little shaky. You know what I'm saying? They still got speed, but that 98 speed is, is crucial. They already got rid of Westry. Um, hear me out. I got so much content, bro. Like, as of, so I'm record, as I'm recording, I'm recording this on September the 3rd. Um, it's kind of like the first, not even the first, but like the first or second, like real week of of college football. So it's it's Saturday, 9 a.m., and I'm recording this before the game start at 12. But by the time y'all see this, I don't know what day y'all will see this content. But I'll be recording these videos like like weeks in advance, so that you know what I'm saying I can have time to chill. And I can have time to do other things, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when y'all be looking at the content, I'm like, yo, bro, like, why does why is such and such still on that team? Like, I looked at my roster and he's not on that team. It's because I did not record that video the same day it dropped. I don't record none of my videos the same day it dropped. Like, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna get into starting recording some videos the same day it dropped. Like, okay, Dick Henry just ran all over such and such bam i'm gonna go and play with derrick henry and like name the video so derrick henry ran for 200 yards so how i used him on madden shit like that you know what i'm saying um and i got that i used to do that i've done that before i got that from td i see td do shit like that and it gets it gets a lot of attention you know what i'm saying so um i'll definitely start doing stuff like that but for these videos as far as like me just playing with these random teams I can record all of them in one day, honestly. Well, I can't record all of them in one day, but I can record, record four or five of them in one day and then let it, you know what I'm saying? I can just put them out whenever the time come. And the only thing that will be different about it is, oh, he's not on the roster no more, or he's not on the roster no more, and I'm like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's old content, I've been recorded this, you know what I'm saying? But it's still content. Um, now, I was, I was trying to play Next Gen one day and ended up playing with Carolina. And ended up running to this dude right here. And dude was amazing. Dude, was, and, and I didn't record it for some reason. But dude was a hell of a player. I literally won 31 to 30. Dude was a hell of a player. Like, hell of a player. He had the Bills. I had the Panthers. I was trying to play on, like I said, on next gen. And I was going to play with the Panthers. And, and by the time I got into the game, I didn't even know that it wasn't next gen. I'm like, damn, this is current gen. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? But 
And I, I and I had a bunch of the group chat and was like, yo, who the hell is Big Swerve? I was like, yo, dude can fucking play. You know what I'm saying? I was like, dude's a hell of a player. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, man, if you guys have not grabbed the Chicago defensive ebook already by now, you guys should. Um, it's my favorite. Um, it's my favorite because of the mugs, man. The 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 nickel mug and the the three two. Um, Mug, it's just I love it. Now these are pat these are my great pass defenses. As y'all know, I don't really play this like like right now. I might play two games. I might play two games. You know what I'm saying? I might play with the Panthers, then I might play with somebody afterwards, and I might be done for the rest of the day. So when I get on here and um the majority of people you play against are gonna pass the ball. You know what I'm saying? We we know that. Uh, it's about, I'm going to say like 70, 30. Like 70% of the guys are going to pass, 30% are going to run. Now, if I get on here and I can beat, if we've been honest, I beat like 90% of the people I play against. Like on, on ranked head-to-head, I beat like 90% of the guys I play against. That 10% that I lose to is it's, it's most likely going to be 100% runners. So when I And I beat a lot of runners. So when I do lose to one or two runners, I don't get mad about it. It's like cool. You know what I'm saying? He's running the ball. Cool. Now if I get if I lose to a passer, it's like, okay, like something ain't right. Cause I because I pride myself on having pass defense. Not even having pass defense, you know what I'm saying? Because Big Swerve put up 30 on me and he was passing the ball. Like I mean like consistently passing the ball, put up 30 on me. Um and it just came down to me outscoring him by one point. But at the same time though, if I get on here and I lose to someone who run the ball Every single every single play, I don't I don't get mad about that because I don't I don't pride myself on having great run defense. You know what I'm saying? I don't. And then it's like and, and then that's what it gets down to. Like, do I change up my defense to stop runners, and then I just give up more passing yards and shit like that? And I was like, nah. I'm 17 and one on PlayStation. I, I'm I'm obviously doing something right. I got Drunken Monkey 252. Now a lot of people don't like playing mirror matches, but I do. I love mirror matches, you know what I'm saying? Because this is straight up skill. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna be straight up skill. Who can play better with this specific team? Um people will sit here and tell you, um, now nah, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, get into the argument. Now, on my channel, I'm gonna tell you something. I love to get in like situational arguments. Like I love to to get on here and, and swear next gen's trash and Current gen's amazing. Sometimes I'll say current gen suck, and I don't, I don't think I ever got on here and said something that was good about next gen. I'm not. I don't. I'm not doing a mirror man. I mean, I'm not friendly quitting. Not a chance. Nope. Because I like to get on here and, and see who is the better player with the specific team. Now a lot of people will get Carolina, and a lot of people will get Carolina and not want to play against Carolina. Because of the speed. They don't care it's a mirror match. People get Lions on Lions and they'll play it. But when it's Carolina on Carolina, a lot of people ain't want to play that because the speed is just crazy. And you threw that right into you threw that right into traffic, bro. You threw that into my cloud corner. That's what I'm mad about. But people will get on here like I, like on my channel, I get on here and, and, and have a debate about which is better, mud or rigs, and the comments will go crazy. The comments will go crazy. Yeah, I'd run the ball too. I'd run the ball too after throwing like that. I would run the ball too. I'll get on here and have a conversation about mud and rigs, and you better stop and go. Why is Caleb Barnes running so slow? Why is, why is Barnes so slow? Did I get weak boxed? Because it's two tight ends, huh? I probably got weak boxed because it's two tight ends. Okay. But I'll get on here and have a conversation about Mutt and Riggs. And he's faking this. I'll get on have a conversation about Mutt and Riggs and people are like, Go crazy down below in the comment section. Well, I think this and I think that, and I think this and I think that, and I love having com and, and I love doing it on my channel now. Now, in real life, do I care? Like, do I really like get off of the game and go on Twitter and have a rant, or go on social media or, or go on Instagram and rant about it? Do I ever? No. If you follow me on Snapchat, I'm only on Snapchat or um, 
Instagram. If you follow me on either of those, you have probably never seen me post nothing about like Madden. Like nothing. If I do post it's a clip or something. It's never no bro, I hate this about the game. I hate that they need to change this, they need to change that. Because when I get off of YouTube, that's I, that's it. That when I turn this camera off, that's it. I don't call my homeboys and talk about Madden like, yo, bro, Madden's trash, bro. They gotta change this, they change that. I don't I don't do that. I don't talk about it because I off camera, I really don't off camera, I really don't care. <laughs> but I get on here and have like these debates with th these debates with y'all who actually really like y'all actually care about this shit. Like y'all do. And I and I've learned that. He's running my adjustments. He's running my adjustments. He just he if you go back, I want y'all to go back. He just manned up. He clouded the left corner and put that safety manned up on him. And he's trying to I don't know if this dude know me or I got some of the wrong audibles in here, huh? I don't know if this dude know me. But he's trying to run my stuff. Well, not my offense. He's trying to run my defense. Which is cool. Which is which is which is cool. Which is cool. Now he'd be he'd be better if he was to put Barnes on on Robbie right there. He he'd be He'd be great, you know what I'm saying? But he got fucking Stanley Oliver, uh, Stanley Oliver trying to guard Barnes. But if he's gonna be in, um, yeah, I probably got weak box last play. Okay, let me see something right here. We're gonna put Horn there. We're gonna put Barnes there, and we're gonna rock out with this right here. We're gonna rock out with this right here. No, bro, what are you what are you doing? What was that? Why did they make me why did they come on? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Dude only got two plays, bro. Three plays, maybe. Three plays, maybe. Whip route. Okay. He got some plays. A couple. That's defense. That's that's run defense right there. He don't like that. This got to be a sack. Look at that. That's run defense. That's run defense. Wait. Pay. You see how I ain't rushing no gaps? We waiting patient. Come on. Oh, Dante, 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 you are crazy for that, dog. Whip route on the right side, maybe? Stop route. Oh, stop and go. Nope, we're here. Let me get that. Thank you. Stop and go. Hmm? See, what happened last time is, what happened last time on a stop and go, I got, I got uh, weak boxed. Cause I was in two, three, six, so I went to nickel, and I understand why I got weak boxed. I do. It's because I had I got more DBs in the game. He got tight ends in the game. So, and what's crazy about getting weak boxed right there is I I really don't understand it, and I'm gonna tell y'all why I don't understand it. Because weak box is supposed to be your weak in the run, not in the pass. You feel me? Because you have DBs on the field. Now, me having DBs on the field is great for the pass. So, how I get weak boxed on... Why my guys running slower versus the pass makes no sense to me. Makes no makes absolutely no sense to me why my guys can't keep up on the pass. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just some things about current gen and next gen that needs changed. And that's, that's right. There's definitely one of them. That definitely needs change because that shit, that shit just don't make no sense. What a diet. Me personally, I love playing Panthers on Panthers. I love it. 
Because a lot of people just get out there with speed and think, man, he got to stop him. He got to stop him. Nah, it don't work. You, you still got to put in some work with the Panthers. Trust me. It's not just straight up, oh, I got speed. I can lock him down. Nah. Shit don't work like that. That was a box. That was a box. That's a box. I don't know why they wouldn't let me jump, but that's a box. That's a box. Why is he getting fried like that? Now, something about that makes me feel like I did not play over top coverage like I usually do. There's no way I didn't play over top coverage right there. What you got for me? What you what you got for me? Over top coverage. Cool, cool, cool. Great defense. Great de Oh, you didn't catch that? Wow. That's great defense. I must say, that was great defense. So what he's doing now is playing over top coverage. So my whip routes should be open since he's playing over top coverage now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Boy, you better stop clicking on. We got lucky right there. We threw we threw an interception. He just didn't catch it. We both went up forward and he didn't come down with the ball. That's just that's unfortunate. That's that suck. I know that hurt. And once again, man, so I feel like like right now, um, with this video right here dropping, I haven't talked about next gen in a while. I haven't talked about next gen in a while. Nice block. Since what day was it? Since the second. You know what's crazy? I'm recording this video right here the day after the video dropped about me talking about AB got game does not like. Uh, I ain't gonna say he don't like next gen, but the way he was calling next gen bad. I'm dropping this the video the day after. Um, I think, and y'all won't see this for a while, so it'll be perfect. I think um, what people get next gen and current gen confused is, well, well, any video game in general confused is, I think, like every year Madden, every year Madden they come out with something new. I think, oh, okay, oh, they, Madden's going to be better next year because they're coming out with this new system. Madden's going to be better next year because this is supposed to be new on the game. Madden's going to be great next year because they said they're going to add this new feature. And this is where I think we get confused at. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's better. Like I read the comments down below on that on that video. And I read people talking about you don't even use the new passing, bro. So how can you they were like you don't even use the new passing, bro? And I'm sitting here saying like I'm sitting here thinking just because it's new doesn't mean it's necessarily better. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's better. There's a time, there's a point like right now in Madden. There's guys on next gen pros switching switching to the switching to uh the classic pat the, the the classic passing. Why? Because the, the 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 new passing methods trash, you know what I'm saying. So just because it's new, doesn't mean it's necessarily better. And I think that's where we get confused at on Madden every single year. Boy really ran a fake. Bro really ran a fake. Just because it's new doesn't mean it's it's better. You know what I'm saying? Um. Oh, this is this is the newer system. This is the newer model. This is the newer this. It should be better. And I, I thought about it the other day. I thought about it. And I was sitting there thinking like, you ever seen somebody with a, with a, put it like this, put it, put, put it in this perspective right here. You ever seen somebody go and, and, and buy a Gucci belt? Like, like, okay, a Gucci belt just dropped. Man, I got to go and get this Gucci belt. I have to. And they go and get it. But they don't. 
but they don't go and get the Gucci belt to to hold their pants up. They go and get it because he didn't play over top coverage right there, so that was kind of iffy. But they don't go and get the Gucci belt to hold their pants up. They go and get it to show people. So if you got on a, a, a big shirt with a Gucci belt, nobody going to see the Gucci belt. So what they do, they sag their pants and put a belt on So they, they sag their pants and put a belt on. And it's like, okay, you're pretty much defeating the purpose of having a belt on. You know, you, you, you get what I'm saying? But somebody go and get a, a, a Walmart a, a Walmart belt and they'll put it on. And somebody will be like, man, you got that old ass belt on. But the belt is the, the belt is, is for the purpose. The belt is to hold the pants. It's not about it, it, the newer belt or the, the flashier belt or the, the shinier belt or just because it's new. It's about the purpose. You know what I'm saying? And then another situation. I have people say, um, bro, Mad 22 is way better than Mad 23. They upgraded the game. Okay. Just because they upgraded the game does not make it a good game. If you make a if, if you get a 60 on a test, and then next year you take that same test and you get a 67, okay, you 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 feel me? You upgraded, but that's still not a good grade. You feel me? Like you upgraded? Yeah, you upgraded. You you did better, but that don't mean you did good. You feel me? So, I feel like that's what a lot of people are getting confused at. Oh, they didn't. Oh, they did no upgrades on. They 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 didn't upgrade current gen at all. They put out the same game. I thought it was a great, I thought it was a good game last Madden, minus a couple things, minus the, the falling forward and, and things like that, you know what I'm saying, minus the, minus the falling forward and things like that, I thought it was a good game, you know what I'm saying, so whenever they said, hey, we put out the same, whenever I came, whenever I seen this was the same game pretty much, I like, shit, cool, <laughs> cool, I liked it anyway, I'm like, cool, this is the same game? Bet this shit's good, so I didn't. Great defense. He don't like the heat, and, and that's why I like this mug defense. You can send so many people. That's why I like it. But he got a great under center offense. I don't know what is what that shit is or, or what formation he's in, but it's nice. I'm surprised he went zone right there. I'm surprised he went zone right there. He did. He went zone. Ooh, nice. Boy, shot that gap too. Um, but like I was saying though, it's not like I don't know. It's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just my opinion. Everybody got their own opinion. They're going to have people come down, down low in the comment section and defend. And it was crazy, bro. What's even crazier is people defend this game as if they get paid from this shit. They defend this shit as if... They defend this shit as if they work for EA or something. Like, like I be want to ask people, like, yo, bro, do you pay... Like, do you, you get paid to play this shit? Or, like, do you put out content? Or, like... Like, what's up? Like... Why are you defending this shit with your life? And people will come on here and put on like a, their type like a four page essay down below in the comment section about Madden. And I'll be like, damn, like y'all really, y'all really care about this shit. Like, like y'all really, y'all really, y'all really care about this shit. Y'all really gonna, y'all gonna defend this shit with everything in y'all. But that's. I like that, you know what I'm saying? It, it, that just shows that y'all really like y'all for real care about this shit. <laughs> when it comes down to it, why would I? Why would I not run with that? I know he gonna throw the slant. Why would I not run with that one? I'm curious as to I can never tell when he's running the out and up. I'm curious as to as to when he's running that and how he's running it. 
Now, mind you, this shit's not... What I'm running this man-to-man is not great versus his offense. It's not. But the reason I'm still in it is because I've gotten stops from it and because he can't stop me. Now, if he was stopping me, I would definitely change up some things. But we're going to keep on... We're going to keep on keeping on. I also like this playbook because they got the... um. The 6 1 too. A lot of people love this 6 1. A lot of people like this 6 1. Um, you didn't throw that in between all that traffic. You threw that in between all that traffic. Having the argument about um, next gen and current gen is, I like it because it, to me, it's kind of like the, the Kobe Jordan LeBron argument. That's how I look at it sometimes. And um That's how I look at it sometimes because it's it's I feel like there is like no right or wrong answer to who's the better player, Kobe LeBron or Jordan. It just depends on what era you grew up watching. Like if you ask an old head, if you ask somebody 30, 40 plus. If you got somebody 35 to 40, who's better? Who that was hot. If you got somebody 35 and up, they're going to tell you Jordan was better. Why? They actually watched, like, they, they seen Jordan with their own eyes. They seen the good and they seen the bad of Jordan. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you Jordan. Now, if you ask somebody my age, I'm 27, so excuse me. I think I think the best player was Kobe. I didn't really get to watch Jordan like that. I didn't get I didn't really get to watch Jordan like that. But I watched Kobe, and I seen what Kobe was doing while LeBron was here. You feel me? So so I like you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna pick Kobe in this situation. Thank you. We don't like that blitz. They don't like that blitz. So I'm gonna pick Kobe in the situation. Now, LeBron's playing while Kobe is not here. You know what I'm saying? It might change if you ask somebody of a, of, of a generation of you ask somebody younger. You know what I'm saying? Who you know what I'm saying? Who didn't really get to watch? You ask somebody who really didn't get to watch Jordan or Kobe. They're gonna say LeBron. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all I feel like it's all generational pretty much. I feel like it's all generational pretty much. Great read. Great read. It's just like the it's just like a rap argument. If you ask an old head who's the best rapper ever, they'll probably tell you Tupac or Biggie. I ain't me personally, I ain't never really listened to Tupac or Biggie. Like to this day. Nice defense. I don't know what made me throw that. I ain't never listened to Tupac or Biggie, so I can't tell you. I can't sit here and say Tupac or Biggie was the best rapper ever. I can't. Didn't really listen to him. I still don't listen to him. You know what I'm saying? If you ask me, I grew up listening to Wayne. Wayne was fucking... You feel me? It's all... It, I, I listen to Wayne, so... If you ask me who the best rapper is, I'm gonna tell you Wayne. I seen Wayne and, and Wayne's still rapping. You know what I'm saying? I still think Wayne's hot, but he's just not this generation's music. He's not what this generation really want to listen to. So it's tough. Um, just like I was watching something the other day, they said um, the argument. People today think that people today compare NBA young boy to Tupac and the game the game spoke on this the game said well I can see that because they wasn't alive for Tupac they didn't really get to see Tupac but they're just comparing what they know would have been a Tupac to you know what I'm saying that generation to this generation so NBA young boy is the modern day Tupac that's what they you know what I'm saying so they didn't really get to see the real Tupac, you feel me? So they just comparing it based on what they've heard or documentaries they've seen and things like that. So you know what I'm saying? It's all it's all 
It's all preference. There's no way this is man to man because he got, he's in three four defense. This is definitely not man to man. He's he definitely in he definitely switched to three four. <laughs> bro, he definitely in three four. He's definitely okay. I'm about to say, bro, you ain't you can't be the oh let's motion him over. He moved him. Who's on him? Nobody. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. I just seen a little twitch. When I know, this is what I know. When you move a player over there on the defense and you motion, he's not gonna. When you move a player, that means he's stuck. When you motion him over, he's not gonna follow it over. And what I know is on here, the man-to-man -man doesn't like change over. Like, okay, that guy over there now, this far corner should play him man-to-man. -man. He should play him, he should play him man-to-man. -man. It don't work like that unless you're in baseline. It don't work like that. So when I see him move that, I say, oh yeah, let's motion him over. Come on. He was probably expecting me to run him on a slant back across too. And uh, nope. Straight go route. That's the first big run he's really had. That right there. Kind of pissed me off because it wasn't supposed to be a big run. He just broke the tackle. And he's trying. Oh. I don't know why you trying to run the ball, bro. Don't be scared. Pass that thing. Pass the rock, cuz. Pass the rock, cuz. Cuz, still out here trying to run the ball. Come on, cuz. We ain't ran the ball like that all game. We ain't ran the ball like that all game, cuz. Now you out here trying to... <laughs> I wouldn't pass the ball worth this shit either. Oh, no, 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 no. My cloud should have played that. I should have probably should have went hard flat over there, huh? Probably should have went hard flat. That's crazy, right? I know. Run the ball in, cuz. Run the ball in, cuz. Second and 20, run the ball. Cuz, get that blitz. Cuz, get that heat. I'm so mad he just ran the ball on fucking third and 16. And I missed the initial tackle. I'm so mad. Whip route. I thought I went hard flat. Was there not a... Was there not a cloud on that side? And then I put a hard flat, so it should have played a hard flat. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just a hook over there. I can't remember. I was in this. I was in this weird defense right here. This cover two. That that cover two inverse. So maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just that hook right there. But I thought that purple would have been a hard flat unless I was on that safety. I can't remember who I was on that play. No, I was on this safety right here. Okay, now it's playing a hard flat. I'm just, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Uh, let's man you up on. Could really out here running the ball? No, 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 no way. That is crazy. To go from a, a loss to the second person coming through to making another loss to the third person coming through making it a. That was that was crazy. <laughs> I got the I got like the, the bottom pass for like five hundred yards on this dude. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, killed him. Oh my lord. <clears throat> Whew. I, want, I know y'all wondering how the hell am I seeing this shit so 
quick and so fast. Just gotta see the shit, cuz. This is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. You feel me? Come on, keep on passing the ball so I can send this heat and draw up this crazy defense. Bro, they don't stop this shit. They don't stop this shit. Cuz is out here running the ball down fucking 31. Oof. That was so much heat. That was so much heat. Ah, oh, he threaded the needle right there. Great pass. And celebrated down 31. I respect it. It was a great ball, man. Definitely a great ball. Bro, this nigga Dante smacked the ball down. He got 481 passing yards, too. Damn, we done passed over 1,000 yards. Damn. Now, like I said earlier, I pride myself in stopping the pass. But when I'm passing the ball like this too, I ain't, I ain't tripping. When I'm passing the ball like this too, I ain't tripping. And I'm, and plus I'm, it's not like I'm. I ain't gonna say I'm not playing this game serious, but at the same time, there's so many different things I could be doing on defense. Like if I was, if I needed a stop, I could probably get a stop. Let's just put it like that. I mean, I've gotten multiple, so. I've got multiple stops, so if I really needed a stop. Could definitely get a stop. But him on the other hand. <laughs> him on the other hand. I don't see him getting a stop. It just ain't. Fried him. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I don't even know when or when did I throw an incomplete. Oh, I threw. I did. I got two incompletions. One of them should have been a pick, probably. It should have been a pick. The other one, I can't remember where my other incomplete pass was. I swear, I can't remember. <laughs> 75. If I give up 75 with Carolina defense, hear me out. It's not like I gave up damn near 50. If I give up 75 with Carolina defense and I haven't scored 85, then we got a problem. Then we got a problem. <clears throat> My goodness, boy. Come on, man. Let's try this defense. I don't think I've ever. Whoa. Oh, no. We gotta make that tackle. I wonder how this cover four is gonna play. Bro, you didn't out of all routes you threw that. Out of all the routes on the field, you threw that. Why ain't my why ain't my cover four playing that? That's why I don't like playing these match coverages. That's why. That sh shit should have been a bag. Am I tripping? There's no way you throw this ball to anybody. I about to say that shit was so boxed up. What a ball. Was that wasn't even a thought that I that wasn't even on my mind. Yeah, ain't shit open. Ain't shit open, sir.
You don't throw that. You don't say. You don't say, sir. Versus a man to man and a third over there. You don't say. You don't say. Sir. We're going to go back and watch that one. We're going to go back and watch that for sure. You don't say. That was a. That was a. He threaded the fucking needle, mate. He threaded the needle. You don't say. If they, now imagine that pass right there for the game winner. Oh my god. I bet he is so sick and tired of my shit. Like, he's passing the ball on me, too, but I ain't really. He probably don't care either. But. But I am doing this man filthy. I mean, he's doing me filthy too, though, so I can't. I can't say nothing. Come on, time out. My controller about to die. Come on, cuff. Put up 81. Let me put up. Let me put Kobe up on your head real quick with the 81. This ain't man to man. Can't be. Ugh, what a dot. What a dot. What a dot. Boy went cover two on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm going to dot. No, I'm going to dot up, cuz. Hey, but overall, that was a GG. I respect dude's offense. He got a great offense. Dude passed for 548 on me. I passed for 626, 91%, 10 touchdowns. Oh, my God. Um, But we got to go and watch this. We got to go and look at this. this right here. There's no way he caught this. Look how many people there is. Bro, there's no way. There's no way. There is just no actual way. He caught that. Like, look at it in fast motion. This is what I seen. Like, what? Because I was on 30. I clicked on 38 and I turned around and I jumped. Snagged that. Imagine if that was a game winner. He threw that before he even broke. He stood running to the right and he threw that. Oh, my. that was nasty. That was that was nasty. Dude was forty-seven and thirty. Um, he could definitely play though. But um, eighteen and one is the record, man. Eighteen and one. And the only person I lost to was somebody who bought my ebook and ran my exact scheme on me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that right there was a GG. If you guys enjoyed that content, hit that like button, man. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Hey, Brad Wayne. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's do this for daily sticky uploads. Follow me at YT Black Rain 4 on TikTok. For hoodies and t shirts, click the link down below in the description. Black Rain's bin. That's where you get all your gear at. For funny stories and motivational stories, follow me on Snapchat at Black Rain 4. And for the latest news on everything, follow me on Instagram at Black Rain 4. And last but not least, if you want to play anybody in Rain Gang, look down below in the description. All the information is down there that you need. You dig. You dig, you dig, you dig.